Hello, it's Amy with Paper Moon Journals. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and thank you for coming back if you're a returning subscriber. Today I have a really nice Valentine journal. This is the first time I've made a Valentine journal. On the cover it has a cherub that was raised up on it with a sequined applique on the skirt and then lots of glitter around the collar and on the crown. It has a pair of charms that are a little heart-shaped lock and a key on the cover with a sari silk Ribbon. It's nine by six single signature and has 60 pages. It's packed with ephemera and the prettiest pink and glittery charms. That charm on the front, inside the front cover has a red faux gem shaped heart with little um, rhinestones all the way around the heart. It's so pretty. And then here I've made this little house shaped tag with cute little ephemera inside from uh, different digital kits. I'm using mostly pixie dust files here as I often do. Um, I'm not sponsored by her or anything. She's just a favorite of mine. Here's a sweet tag that I made using my tag top punch with a crown shaped um, charm at the top that had a crystal in it. And then there's a full sheet of writing of journaling space there tucked into that pocket. I really like um, how that adds a lot of extra writing space in my journals. And then it also looks nice filling up the visual space. On this page, we have a little cupcake pixie on top of some mushrooms from the Christmas digital kit. When I saw those pink mushrooms, I knew I had to have them and that I'd use them in other projects. I probably already have and have commented on it. Here's some Valentine tags from her special Valentine tag kit. And then I know I used quite a bit of things from the Vintage Rose kit. I think I see some of that here. The pink junk journal kit. Um, when I go to print stuff out, I can just see things that look pink and like they might go well in here um as was that envelope i'm not sure which envelope uh you know which kit that envelope came from these little valentines are from it used to be called digital collage club now it's make and create it's a huge library of um really cool digital kits and ephemera kits for um for crafting that has either an annual or a lifetime subscription, or at least it did when it was Digital Collage Club. I don't think she's changed anything aside from the name and the new website platform. The new website's pretty snazzy and nice. Um, and yeah, I really like the Digital Collage Club. Uh, if you haven't seen it, maybe go check that out. Not sponsored by her either. I've just really enjoyed having that. I used lots of lace and that little tassel on that other page. I think it's so pretty. And then the flap of the envelope was a tuck spot for those Valentine tags. And then there's more lace, more Valentine tags. Those tags and these Valentine papers that she made are so beautiful. This is, uh, as I said at the beginning, the first time I've made a Valentine journal, and I was really pleased with how it came out. Uh, this is the style that I like to make for myself, the single signature style. It's a nine by six and then has um, like 60 pages in it. This little piece here is a Valentine stuffed pocket kit or loaded pocket kit. And then to that, I added a shrunk down Valentine tag. And then that little elephant Valentine was um, from that digital collage club or whoever set of um, vintage Valentines. I'm pretty sure it's that you know again now it's called make and create I think um, I hope I've got that right because I've been calling it digital collage club for years and the new name is still really new to me I love the way the lace layered up on this one and I thought those little cupcake pixies went really nicely with the valentine theme because don't you have lots of little pretty pink frosted cupcakes at valentine's so yeah, I thought that was cute. Those pink butterflies and the mushrooms were both from the same Pink Miss, Mary Pink Miss kit, I believe. Um, and those go really sweet in here. And then look at that center spread. I just love that page so much. I didn't add anything to it except a charm. And then this page here, I love how that came out. That oval is a nice place to put a favorite poem or sentiment. And then here's a nice lined page for writing with a cute cherub. Another stage where you could fussy cut maybe a photograph or something out and put it there. Um, I love the image on that page with the mushroom and the cherub sitting on top. And that little butterfly tuck spot is pretty cute too. 
There's a nice long pocket where I have a full sheet of writing paper folded up um, with sheet music on the back and then some beautiful tags, more beautiful tags from that Valentine tag kit. I think it came with like five pages of tags. Those tall skinny ones were from the pink junk journal kit, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to open up that sheet, uh, sheet music, which is writing paper, or if you wanted to continue working in the journal, you could, uh, you know, cut it up and use it um, to decorate tags or to make other things. I really load the pockets up with stuff and there is still room to work in here if that's the way you like to use your journal. I use them often for my daily to-dos, my gratitude journaling uh, when I can remember to do it. I really need intend to do it every day and it's maybe right now not even once a week but um, getting out the journal and doing gratitude journaling is great. It reminds your brain that you want to focus on gratitude and if you do that first thing in the morning your brain's kind of like a little computer it tells your computer to focus on gratitude and happy thoughts and um kidding we all use more of that you know just help stay optimistic i like that last page and all the pretty lace we have to take another look at that and it looks nice on the next page with the mushrooms I get going a little quicker here i just love these pages every page is a little work of art I don't know how Debrina over at Pixie Dust Files just comes up with one amazing idea after another, but she sure does. She's come out with more digital kits. I'm working on a kitty cat valentine one right now, and then I've already finished a bunny valentine one that's really big. It's an 80-page hardcover one that's in my shop. I just, I make them until I love them, and I just, I just fall in love with everyone. I love this one. I love the new bunny one. I love the kitty cat one that I'm working on now, um, but I'll be coming up with another theme soon. I still have that circus one that I started that I need to finish, and then I saw a lot of um, Easter stuff when I was looking at um, bunnies for the bunny valentine one, and so um, I'll definitely be doing an Easter journal. I just saw way too much Easter stuff when I was going through there and got really excited about it, so I know that'll be coming up. Um, if you want to suggest some topics or themes that you'd like to see, I think that would be fun. It's an interesting challenge for me. Um, here's something from my um, sheet music digital collection. That other page of sheet music was from my digital kit as well. I often forget to mention my own digital kits. And then this is from the um, Chihuahua um digital kit i think it was a christmas one but they have on little pink outfits and it's pretty cold around valentine's day so i thought they went nicely and then this envelope i think was from the vintage rose digital kit and then here's a bunch of ephemera from that same kit that printed out they were right next to each other on my computer but we're just about done with this we're getting inside the back pocket and um at the end, I have some close-up pictures so you can get a really good look at it if you would like. As always, I'd like you to please like, subscribe, share the video with anyone you think might enjoy the content, and I wish you'd have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and it makes my day when I see your comments. So please don't be afraid to, you know, get out your phone or whatever you need to to comment. I know I watch on TV, so commenting does take a little bit of extra effort, but I do always give the thumbs up on videos I watch. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and have a great day!